Uh, emerging evidence from our own uh, Kenya Obstetric and Gynecological Society, American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, the Royal College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, clearly shows that this, uh, the benefits of giving the vaccine to pregnant women far outweighs the risks uh, associated with giving the vaccine in pregnancy. Pregnant women tend to get a more severe form of COVID because pregnancy is a state where your immune response is slightly reduced because you are carrying a baby whose genetic composition, half of it is from the father and half from the mother. So for the baby to be able to stay in the utero, your immunity is suppressed a bit during pregnancy. And uh, pregnant women also tend to have poor, uh, poor outcomes. They tend to end up in ICU. They tend to have preterm pre births. And of course, if they are preterm births, then the babies have to be taken care of uh, neonatal ICUs, which is very expensive, or they have stillborns. The baby is born dead. So it is very, very safe for pregnant women to take the vaccine. All right. Joe is saying, ask the DG. There's so many coming through. I just missed that one. Joe is saying that ask the DG to comment on the booster vaccine, especially to those who have taken both jabs. Do you need another one? For now, we don't need another booster vaccine because uh, remember I told you we have only a fully vaccinated 2.9% of our population, target population. Yeah. So why would you get a third, a third one when your sister, your brother has not even gotten the first one? Okay. In terms of equity, let's ensure that we reach our target uh, population. Then as more data emerges, then we'll be able to make a decision whether you require a booster. Okay.